Do you like to try new things? Hundreds of new food products have made their way onto your supermarket shelves in the last 20 years, and farmers continue to work with researchers on even more. Consider oats. They've been around for centuries, but one farmer sees an opportunity for something different. It's harvest time for Bruce Wright on his family farm in Bozeman, Montana. We grow some wheat and barley and hay and peas and some sunflowers, and then a specialty oat that we're working on. That specialty oat now covers 150 acres of land here. And for a farm with roots dating back to the 1800s, that oat is changing the future for this farmer and for thousands of people who suffer from gluten sensitivity. The oats are special because they are uh, a variety that was dealt, developed by Montana State University. And what we found in these oats is that they are a holeless variety of oat and they're very low in allergens. And oats in general don't have any gluten in them, so we can take these oats and process these oats and make them into oatmeal and porridge and flour and stuff that can be eaten by people who have gluten sensitivities. Gluten is a natural protein composite found in grains like wheat, barley, and rye. It gives texture and elasticity to dough. It's also used as a flavor enhancer and thickener, which means you'll find it in everything from soups to salad dressings. Gluten-free labeling on products at the supermarket is important for those suffering from celiac disease, which is associated with intolerance to gluten in grains. The demand is growing because the awareness of celiac disease and gluten intolerance is growing. Now the doctors are becoming more aware of celiac disease, gluten intolerance, so it's becoming more diagnosed and more people are paying attention. Producing this product is high tech, high cost, and high science. The combines used to harvest these oats won't be used for other crops for fear of cross-contamination. The oats are hauled to a processing plant to pass through a series of cleanings and crushings. From there it goes into the second cleaner, does more of the same thing, cleans it out goes from that second screening machine into a series of stacked indent cleaners. Then it goes up into the roller mill. That's what takes and, and rolls the oat into a flake and what we usually call oatmeal. Bruce's oat production spun off earlier research at Montana State University. Bruce and several other farmers, including Dean Miller and Gary Iverson, make up the Montana gluten-free processors. Their focus is to provide specialized crops for gluten-free products to meet an increasing demand from consumers. These are your short oats. These are the ones we want. And you haven't seen these before in the field. So Dr. David new, Sands has been working with Bruce on food production for the past eight years. How important are farmers in, in getting new products like this to the market? Well, if they don't grow it, it won't happen. So you have to produce a crop that they want to grow that uh, makes a difference in, in their income and also they are growing food crops. They are as interested in the human consumer as anybody else. What they're interested in is if different varieties of the camel... Laboratory work at Montana State University centers on testing oat varieties. The overall goal is to make a more perfect food. A food that is designed around our genomes, and our genomes are different, so you're going to have these different groups of people wanting different things. And why shouldn't they, and why shouldn't we produce exactly what they want? And for those consumers wanting gluten-free blueberry pancakes, Bruce and others can stop by Bozeman's Main Street Overeasy restaurant. It is really gratifying. When you talk to somebody who hasn't been able to eat a, a bread or something like that, they, they are so happy to be able to have that again. They really, really appreciate their food. I love what I do. I love being able to grow things. I love to be out here in the countryside, uh, in the beautiful scenery, one of the most beautiful spots. I, I'm so lucky to get to work here. It's easy to get out into the wide open spaces in Montana. The majority of the state's counties have six or fewer people per square mile. 
and while you'll find plenty of buffalo, elk, and antelope in Montana, you'll also find a bird associated with the ocean. Montana is home to thousands of white pelicans who make their summer home in Medicine Lake.